Hello everyone. I seen a lot of questions being asked of on how you add a lead magnet. So I recommend adding your lead magnet to your first email that goes out. So when the customer subscribes and enters the name and email address, in the first email, you should have your ebook, your lead magnet attached to the first email. And then in your where you have are asking for the name and the email address in there, I would add a statement such as bonus, free ebook. That will give them an incentive to leave their name and email address. So let them know that they're going to get something out of leaving their name and email address when they subscribe. So the first thing you wanna do um, is go to your funnel and I'm just assuming you already created your lead magnet, and I also recommend that you save it as a PDF file. Um, and the reason why is because you don't want them making any changes to your product. Um, so I wouldn't submit as a Canva link because if you send them the Canva link, then, then they can update it. So I recommend saving it as a PDF file and attaching it as a PDF file, okay? So now what you're going to do is, and this is just a workaround in order to get a URL to be able to add to that first email. Um, a URL meaning the address, the web address where you will take them to the lead magnet. So I'm just going to go to the sales page. And what I want to do is upload the lead magnet because I want System.io to host my lead magnet. Um, it just makes it easier. So just go to any text. It doesn't matter what text because this is temporary and you're not even saving. Um, it's just to be able to upload and get that URL. So I'm just going to select these words right here and I'm going to click on this link. And then I'm going to click on, you see this arrow? If you hover over it, it says link to a file. So you want to click on that and you want to upload your lead magnet magnet. In this case, I'm going to upload my digital ebook. So I'm just going to search for it. Okay. And here's one. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it. And it's going to upload. And you want to go ahead and click on insert. So this is what I want right here, this HTTPS URL. You want to go ahead and select that entire link. Make sure you select it all because this is what you're going to add to your email. Okay. Now you don't want to even save it or anything. You just want to copy it and just have it copied. So you can just exit out of here without saving it. You don't need, you don't need it. It already uploaded. So it's not going to go away. Um, it doesn't matter. It's already uploaded and hosted. So now what you want to do is go to your email campaigns. And on that first email is where I recommend that you include your lead magnet okay so here i would add a sentence okay and you can pause this video if you want to copy the same sentence but i have here to help kickstart your journey i'm excited to offer you a free ebook that will provide valuable insights access it instantly by clicking here and this is why you want the URL because you want to edit this and enter, just paste the URL that you copied and go ahead and enter and save it. Um, the reason why I don't attach here, I don't attach it as a file because first it may be too large. There's a five megabyte limit. So if one, it may be too large. Two, whenever you add attachments, um, you have a greater chance for it to go to spam. Um, it'll go more into spam than the person's inbox. So that's why I prefer to add it as an attachment. Plus also they might not see the attachment it, um, if it's attached, but specifically telling them to click here to get it, uh, they have a better chance of seeing it and opening it. I also recommend that when you create your ebook, Bring them back to your website. Include links in your ebook that references something like take the same course that I took. 
and go ahead and add your roadmap link in there. So that way, um, if they don't go back to your website and they just go to your ebook, at least your ebook will bring them back to your website and you increase your chances of having additional sales. So that's it, folks. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, thank you so much for watching.